It's me, Sadrina, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be shopping for summer self-care and feminine hygiene products. I hope you guys are excited that it's finally summertime, and I also hope you're ready to stock up on some summer self-care goods. Now, let's head into the store. Something that I feel like people don't show enough when they show summer self-care are the moisturizers. And I feel like when you're looking for a summer moisturizer, most people don't want something that's gonna make them feel oily and like they have a lot of heavy, thick stuff on their face. So if that sounds like you, I definitely look for an oil-free moisturizer, a gel, or a moisturizer that makes your face matte, like this La Roche-Posay Daily Moisturizer for Oily Skin, Anti-Shine, Anti-Enlarged Pores. That's perfect for summer. And as you can see, this is a mattifying moisturizer. There's another one in here, it looks bigger. Literally says matte moisturizer right there. I will say that La Roche-Posay can be expensive though. This is $35.99 and this one up here is $22.99. So let's look for some cheaper options. I know that CeraVe has something perfect right here. CeraVe has an ultralight moisturizing gel so that you can have a weightless feel on your skin. And this is new too. $16.29 for this. I imagine the gel would probably feel so good in hot weather. They also have an ultralight moisturizing lotion with SPF 30. Sunscreen that makes it even better. This one's $16.29 as well. CeraVe's really doing what they need to do for summer. And then Curology, I feel like I don't show Curology enough, but they also have a gel moisturizer. Here's how it looks. Gel moisturizer, lightweight, daily hydration. Dermatologist founded, developed, and tested. Ooh, I don't know how much it is, but I'm guessing $15.99 or $16.99. I might have to try something from this brand one day. Curology, sponsor me. Also SPF 30 sunscreen, no clog UV defense. Also Bayoma, $14.99. Moisturizing gel cream. This is such cute packaging. Oh, <laughs> help. I love the color too. So you can really just pick and choose because a lot of brands have either a gel or some kind of lightweight moisturizer. I will always have Treha as one of my summer faves, even though you can use it year round, but I just feel like it's more fun in the summer, especially with the fruitier scents. And also in the summertime, you have more time on your hands for self-care. I would definitely go for a fruitier scent, like rainbow sherbet, peach sorbet, dragon fruit, and watermelon. I'm pretty sure they also have strawberry, but they don't have at this store for some reason. Anything could work, but I just feel like the fruity ones are more fun. I love Moonlight Glow, but I feel like this is better for fall and winter time but there's literally no rules. No one cares that much. They have tropical mango, Moroccan rose, sun-kissed poppy, literally everything you need. Tropical glow, okay, it's giving vacation. Coco culada. Don't forget the body washes as well. Obviously, we wanna smell good year-round, but it's just fun to smell more fruity and tropical during the summer. They have Coco culada, tropical glow, and this one will give you a shimmer, I'm pretty sure. Moroccan rose, the vitamin C one. So all their products range from $7.99 to $9.99. If you want a cheaper option, there's always Dr. Teal's. Help! Who is having a family get-together or reunion? It's so loud. Everyone's just talking, having the time of their lives. I'm trying to film a video. I want you guys to have fun, but this is too much. Anyways, I want to smell this one. Pink Himalayan. Mmm. Yeah, strong orange scent. But if you like orange, you definitely like this. It smells good. Like orange candy. So there's everything from Dr. Teal's. Just right off the bat, the glow and radiance one seems the most like a summer scrub to me. But you can use either of these. Ah, I'm so glad they stocked up on these. Elf has bronzing drops now, guys. A lot cheaper than Drunk Elephant. Here are the different shades. They're all kind of similar, but I can definitely tell these are lighter and these are deeper tones. Comment down below if I should buy this and test it out for you. I think I should because it's definitely giving summer. Bronzing drops are for everybody. It's literally just to make your skin more vibrant and glow in the sun and obviously to bronze it a little bit. But here's the thing, is it for your face only or is it for your whole body? I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of this and are excited to see it. Okay, so the colors that they have are pure gold. Down here there's rose gold and copper gold, so there's three. For my skin tone, I definitely go with bronze three, the copper gold, because I think it would match me the best. I think it would match me the best. So cute. 
e.l.f. Sun Touchable. They have the invisible one that anyone can wear. SPF 35. But they also have different tints. Darker ones like this. All the tinted ones have a sheer bronze shimmer. Sunburst, sunbeam, and sunlight. I think they only have three shades. Ooh, not saying I'm taking this one out. Hello. Okay, here's how big it is. This is the packaging. And this works for sun protection and as a makeup primer. Ooh, this one. Setting spray that's SPF 45. Okay. These are each $14. Finally, I get to see the shades of the Sun Boss Gloss. This one is very pretty. My jam. I like this one. They also have Pink Me Girl. <laughs> really, that's funny. Ooh. Wait, I know you guys see that. Wait, look. Peachy you Queen. What? Yup. You should definitely get that. It's not really my shade though, but it's like they made this for me. <laughs> That's the story we're gonna go with. And the last one is It's Your Mauve. So they have four different shades here. I think they're supposed to have five, but one is sold out. Get that Sun Boss Gloss so you can have SPF in your lip gloss if you have sensitive lips. NYX also has a blur screen, SPF 30 primer for $13.99. And this one has different shades as well, I believe. This e.l.f. Stay Cool Primer Stick also gives me summer vibes. Does it actually make your skin feel cool? Prep skin for makeup with solid gel. Stay Cool Primer Stick. This is only $7. It looks kind of fun to use, I don't know. But how necessary is it, I wonder? Also for the summer, I feel like thinner pads will be more in because it's just too hot to be wearing something thick every day. I definitely recommend You by Kotex. Thin, lightweight, easy, and it holds a lot too. There's also thin pads in other brands like Old always ultra thin and of course there's the thin panty liners for your lighter days i usually use the always ones and they're pretty affordable like you can get a pack of 20 for 129 or a pack of 72 for 479 yay we're back to the body washes remember i had a whole era of filming body washes that were popular wait a minute bioma has a body wash what is going on since when okay we gotta get into this you have a brightening body wash hydrating body wash sensitive skin body wash smoothing body polish okay what is going on of course they have all the method and the native Ooh, not these girl scout ones going on sale i'm not gonna lie guys i think people didn't like these because i've scent tested them and it's just too strong and like a lot of people don't really want to smell like girl scout cookies if that makes any sense some of them smell good but it's just really strong i've tried this olay fresh outlast body wash recently and it smells good but i don't really like it because i feel like it doesn't last long in the shower it doesn't stay sudsy i feel like once you start scrubbing after a couple minutes it starts wearing off instead of staying bubbly if that makes any sense it's not my favorite i won't lie but olay does have some good body washes I'm going to scent test some of these Bioma body washes because this is new to me. This is the hydrating one. Oh, that just has like a fresh soapy smell. I don't think it's really scented or meant to be scented. How about the brightening body wash? I would want this to smell like mango lemon. Yeah, I'm not even going to bother scent testing the other two because they kind of just all smell the same. Just that really strong, fresh, soapy smell. So if that's what you're into, definitely try these. I think I think Bioma just made these for the causes, like to hydrate, brighten, and care for sensitive skin. They didn't really care too much about the scent because none of them are really scented. At least the ones I smelled. But super cute. We always love Bioma's packaging. Guys, if you've tried Native, comment down below if you like it and which scent you get because sometimes it's hit or miss. Like some of their scents are really nice and some of their scents are like mm, not my cup of tea but i guess that's for everything right oh i want to smell this sweet peach and nectar this sounds good this smells good but it smells more like grapefruit to me okay this one is actual grapefruit grapefruit and bergamot bergamot oh never mind that one's definitely giving more grapefruit i like the other one more Ooh, what is this magnolia from method mmm this reminds me of something like sweet pea flower scent. That's what this reminds me of. Super cute packaging. Aesthetic as always. This berry balance one smells like fruit snacks and berry yogurt. I don't know what this brand is. Naturium? Naturium? But it looks so aesthetically pleasing and mature. Like I feel like you would find these at a really highly rated hotel or something. Okay, Saltaire. Their packaging is also so cute. I've never scent tested these. Let's do it. Honey Pot has body cleansers and they're on sale for $7.99. Hello. We're starting with the orange one, passion fruit oil. Ooh, already intrigued. 
Ooh, strong passion fruit, a little citrusy. Smells good, but not my favorite already. I think the other ones I might like more. I'm automatically assuming this is gonna be like a cocoa shea butter kind of scent. Mm -hmm, a little similar. Okay, more like a creamy, almondy. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's scent test the next one. Oh, I'm not even saying the names. The first one was Exotic Pulp, and the second one was Santal Bloom. This one is Pink Beach. It is kind of coconutty. I don't like the scents as much as I want to. It's like a nice beachy fresh scent. But I'm not gonna lie, as much as I like the packaging, I wanna like the scents a lot more than I do. They're not bad, but I wish they were more fruity and sweet. Someone let me know if these EOS body lotions are actually good. Cause I always see them, but I've never tried it out. It's $8.99 for each. Vanilla cashmere and fresh and cozy. I think they have another scent, it's just not here. And then also Hemp's. Oh, they only have like three of these, hello. But Hemp's is definitely more expensive, about 20 bucks. Not Jergens Natural Glow. This is not really a bronzing drops dupe though because they've had this for a while. I think it's just to make your skin look more bronze than tan. But yeah, it could be a substitute. Medium to deep skin tones fair to medium skin tones okay back from target i only ended up getting two things the elf skin bronzing drops because i know you guys want me to review this and let you know if it's good it was 12 dollars, and i feel like it should be five because it's so small but i mean they've got to compete okay drunk elephant is a lot more expensive than 12 dollars. so yeah stay tuned for a review video where i review this and then of course garnier micellar cleansing water because it's just my favorite makeup remover and i needed to restock that came to a total of $26, guys, for two products. Self-care shopping is just getting harder. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe down below, share this video, hit that notification bell, and do not forget to check out my Instagram and my TikTok, both at Peachy Queen Official. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Bye.